On the education beat tonight, a new report says that some New York State schools are not taking the necessary steps to protect students. And it appears that money is one of the main issues that's getting in the way of school safety. Here's 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley. When it comes to your child's safety at school, districts are required by state law to have emergency plans in place to protect against violence. But a new state audit is highly critical of the state education department for not keeping better watch to make sure school districts are complying. Some schools fail to file school safety plans. Others did not submit plans to local law enforcement. In the event of a school emergency, it would be a local police department that would be first responders on the scene. State Comptroller Thomas DiNapoli issued the report. And we found too many instances where local law enforcement did not have the information about the physical layout of the schools where, God forbid, if they would have to respond to a crisis situation. DiNapoli's team visited 15 school districts, including two in our region, Pembroke and Leroy. Both failed to hold a 30-day requirement common period for their plans. But also for Leroy, they didn't hold a public hearing, uh, as far as we could tell. And again, with Leroy, there was no documentation that they adopted their plans on an annual basis, which is also required. So, you know, again, not to pick on that particular district or, or those two districts, but we need to be sure that the districts understand what their requirements are. We've reached out to both districts for comment. We're waiting to hear back from them. DiNapoli recommends state ed develop a program to keep a watch on district plans. State ed responded with a statement saying in part, schools must always be safe havens and will continue to work with local law enforcement partners to improve the process. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.